Does your home feel like a strange place? Make it happy. Hello and welcome to our video. Today, we will be summarizing Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin. By the end of this short book summary, you will not only understand the big ideas and key takeaways from the book, but you'll also be able to discuss and implement them as well. So be sure to watch until the end. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more money-making tips and to learn from more of the world's greatest books on personal finance, entrepreneurship, and mindset in a fraction of the time. Also, make sure to comment I subscribe below so that we can thank you. Happier at Home is a masterpiece written by Gretchen Rubin, which was part of a sequence in The Happiness Project. In this book, she goes deeper into the happiness theories, and they all revolve around home. Happier at Home is a collection of short stories. Rubin's quest for happiness may appear to be a lot of work, but a payoff is an increasing number of happy moments that she depicts so beautifully that it can move you to tears. All the theories are regarding home possessions, marriage, kids, and parenthood. If you are feeling distant from your home while sitting in your home, you need to take notes as we break down the key lessons from the book. Key lesson number one, get rid of clutter. As Mary Kondo says, to keep things that spark joy and get rid of the ones that do not spark joy, go through all of your possessions one by one and ask yourself, when was the last time I used this? How much do I enjoy it? No matter how little you think you have, you'll find a lot of extra garbage in your home. A house full of things does not simply make your house full. It also completely fills your mind. You'll notice that when you're in a less cluttered environment, you tend to think a lot more about how you can improve and consider the important things in life. Instead of cleaning up all the unnecessary stuff your family already has, you can start asking them questions about what they really want and then just get them that. After you're done decluttering the place and keeping the things that really matter, you should put things in a place where they can be seen and acknowledged. Key lesson number two, don't overreact. Being a mom, parent, or homeowner makes you more dramatic. You overreact in many situations. Why not try to underreact? Gretchen, for example, did not yell at her daughter or make a big deal when she spilled an open bottle of nail polish on the carpet. Instead, she calmly told her to go online and look for a way to clean and remove the stain, which she did. Nobody was upset. The stain had been removed, and her daughter had even learned a new skill. How wonderful is that? Stop being a drama queen or Kang. Take a deep breath and get people to solve the problems they've caused in a calm and non-aggressive manner. If you think deeply about this, if something is going wrong and you start overreacting, you are not helping the situation. Actually, you're making it worse, and you are also affecting your mental as well as physical health. Key lesson number three, praise your individuality. You need to understand and praise your inner self. Just because something is fun and trending, you do not need to do that. If something is not in your style or is against your individuality, you should not attempt it. Once you are fully aware and proud of yourself, you will feel happy and content. And when the mom is happy, the house is happy. Key lesson number four, meet your neighbors. It stands to reason that the larger your family, the greater your happiness. So how about expanding your family by getting to know your neighbors? Over 30% of Americans have no idea who their neighbors are, which is a depressing statistic for a species that has relied on one another for thousands of years to survive. You don't have to invite everyone to a big barbecue immediately, but you can start small. Perhaps you'd like to start by strolling around the neighborhood and getting to know the buildings, locations, and culturally significant sites. Who knows who you'll end up talking to? That's it for our book summary of Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin. We hope you found it both informative and entertaining. If you did, hit that like button as it helps the channel out. If you want to learn more, you should buy Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin. You can pick it up with the affiliate links below. We will return with more book summaries and money-making tips soon. In the meantime, please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is added. Also, let us know in the comments if there's a specific book you want us to summarize next. And until next time, we hope your personal success surpasses your dreams. Goodbye.